Another packed meeting with more allegations of discrimination and harassment within Jackson College. It's our top story at 11. Thanks for joining us. I'm Siobhan Klepfer. And I'm Sherry Jones. The Jackson College Board of Trustees was given more than an earful tonight as students and faculty members shared their anguish over alleged inappropriate conduct. It comes weeks after board members voted to have the college president review complaints brought to the board and how they're handled. Josh Sanchez listened along and has more on what administrators are saying tonight. Josh, what did you hear? Well, both the Board of Trustees and the President were in the crosshairs of fierce criticism tonight. Like last month's meeting, students and staff shared their stories of alleged harassment and discrimination while again calling for an outside investigation. In all my working years and all the jobs that I've had, I have never experienced the type of harassment that I have here at Jackson College. Even more allegations of harassment at Jackson College tonight, at times leaving the room hushed, while others <laughs> sparked support from students and staff. More than a dozen members of the Jackson College community shared allegations of harassment, discrimination, or how frustrated they were with how complaints are handled by college administrators with the Jackson College Board of Trustees. After several meetings led by student complaints, staff and faculty joined the calls for an external review into allegations and how they're handled, including calls from the college's two employee unions. Allegations brought forth by both students and employees have cast a dark shadow over our college and community, and we believe it is imperative to address them with the utmost seriousness and urgency. Last month, the Board of Trustees directed President Daniel Phelan to review multiple allegations of sexual harassment and racial discrimination in a 5-2 to two vote. Board Chairperson John Chris says trustees were handed two reports earlier today, one on complaints from previous meetings and another highlighting organizational changes. Chris says he understands the waves of frustration aimed at the board, but says any changes will need time. It's not one of these things you snap your finger and done, it's over with. No, no, no. we got to work through this. I think it's more important to work through this than just jump right immediately into a, a study. Now there's also a personnel issues report that trustees are expected to review in November. This Thursday, the board will meet again to determine if it will bring on an outside investigator. Sherry, Siobhan, 